In 1966, there were 571 American radio stations blasting rock and roll 24 hours a day. But in the country that gave you the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, the only way to hear the music was to tune in to a boat. You are listening to Radio Rock and I'm the Count. And I'm counting on you as we count down to ecstasy. They were called pirates. Pirate Radio. They are the sewer of dirty low morals. Could I introduce Carl? Hi, I'm Angus. I'm the Count. Oh, I'm a lesbian. You know what a lesbian is? I do. Fun times, eh? The fans made them famous. Wow. You think you could ever love a man with a funky Fu Manchu? No. I could shave it. The government made them outlaws. The drug takers and the lawbreakers and the bottom bashing agitators. I will soon be the first person to curse on rock and roll radio. But they risked it all. You can't do this. Why not? We're pirates. That's why we're sitting out here in the middle of the friggin' ocean. For the music they love. Surprise! We're going to shut them down. They can't close us down. They will find a way. Governments loathe people being free. From midnight on New Year's Eve, Radio Rock will be breaking the law. From Richard Curtis. Keep it all a thing Tonight, Pirate Radio dies. Creator of four weddings and a funeral. This isn't going to happen. They will come after us. Let them try. And love actually. We thought we'd never die, but you can't fight City Hall. Three, two, one. Only kidding, dudes! Let's rock! This summer, from Universal Pictures, comes a comedy about a time. These are the best days of our lives. When love couldn't be silenced. The first moment I saw you, I fell in love with you. And music could change the world. Young men and young women will always dream dreams and put those dreams in the song. The book that rocked. <laughs> I can see why you wanted that condom. What? Night-night. What did he just say? Night-night? <laughs>